Hello students, in present video, I am going to explain about sixth problem from final accounts topic. I am taking this problem from Telangana State Telugu Academy Inter First Year Account Density Test Book. But this video is useful to all commerce students who want to know about final accounts topic. This question is available in the description box. Previous videos links are also available in the description box. Let us start the problem. Prepare final accounts from the trial balance of Brindavan business for the year ended 31st March 2019. In question, trial balance is given. Trial balance rules you know. Debit column, assets, expenses, losses, drawings. Credit column, liabilities, incomes, gains, provisions, funds, reserves and capital. Firm's name is Brindavan business. Our assumption is we are an accountant of this firm. On 31st March 2019, trial balance is given. Means current year is 1st April 2018 to 31st March 2019. Based on this trial balance, we have to prepare final accounts on 31st March 2019. Final accounts means trading account, profit and loss account and balance sheet. In this table, trading account and profit and loss account we are going to prepare. Heading is Trading account, comma, profit and loss account of Brindavan business for the year ended 31st March 2019. First trading account we prepare, then profit and loss account. Trading account debit side, direct expenses we should write. Credit side, direct incomes. Direct expenditure means manufacturing related expenditure. Opto manufacturing expenditure. Direct incomes means main income for any organization. Sales. We have to start trading account with opening stock. In debit column of trial balance, we have to search for opening stock. Opening stock is not given in this question. Means, in previous year last date, there was no closing stock. Otherwise, this year only they started business. Therefore, there is no opening stock. Next, we have to write purchases. In debit column, purchases amount is given 22,000 rupees. Two purchases. Amount in inner column or outer column? It depends on purchase returns. See the credit column of trial balance. Purchase returns are not given. Therefore, purchase amount 22,000 in an outer column we have to write. Next, other direct expenses. Salaries, purchases, wages. Wage we pay to labor. Labor work in factory. They manufacture goods. So wage expenditure is manufacturing related expenditure. Therefore, in trading account, David said we should write wages. Adjustment is given. Therefore, amount in inner column 7,800 rupees. Adjustment number 1. Outstanding wages 2,000 rupees. Adjustment amounts 2 times we should write. One time in trading account, second time in balance sheet. Otherwise, one time in profit and loss account, second time in balance sheet. Trial balance amounts only one time we should write. So, this outstanding wages, one time in trading account we have to write. What to do? Outstanding wages means we have to pay. Therefore, we should add plus outstanding. Outstanding wages amount 2000 rupees. Total in outer column, 9,800 rupees. Next, carriage on purchases. Carriage, carriage on purchases, carriage inwards. These three are direct expenses. Trading account debit side. Carriage outwards, carriage on sale. These two are indirect expenses, p and account debit side. Now this is direct expenditure, trading account debit side. Two Carriage on purchases amount 400 rupees. Office expenses, commission, debtors, furniture, machinery, insurance, bank balance, bills receivable, cash. Debit column completed. Come to credit. Sales. Sales is direct income. Credit side. Buy sales. Amount in inner column or outer column? It depends on sales returns information. Sales returns will be given in debit column of trial balance. See the debit column. Sales returns are not given. Therefore, 
sales amount 47,000 rupees in outer column. Only one amount we have. Come to adjustments. In adjustments, only closing stock adjustment is related to trading account. Sixth point, closing stock 11,000 rupees. Opening stock debit side, we should write closing stock credit side. Buy closing stock 11,000 rupees. All amounts were returned. Finally, we have to find out gross profit or gross loss. Procedure is observe the totals. Credit total is more. So in rough notes, first credit total we should calculate minus debit total. Then the difference is gross profit. Credit total is 58,000 rupees. Debit total 32,200. Difference 25,800 is gross profit. Why? Because credit side we wrote incomes. Debit said expenses. Income is more than expenditure. Therefore, difference is gross profit. We said we have to show this gross profit where the total is less. That said, we should show. Debit total is less. So, debit side, write down this gross profit amount. 25,800 rupees. For that, in particular column, write down to gross profit. Now, Two sides write down highest total 58,000 rupees. With this, trading account is completed. Continuation is profit and loss account. Now, profit and loss account. Debit side indirect expenses, credit side indirect incomes. We should show. After manufacturing expenses are indirect expenses. Sale is direct income. All other incomes are indirect incomes. See the debit column of trial balance. Salary is 6,000 rupees. To whom we pay salaries? To employees. Employees work in office, go down, showroom. So their work is not related with the manufacturing. Therefore, it is indirect expenditure. p and account debit side. To salaries. There is one adjustment. Therefore, salary is about 6,000 in inner column. Adjustment number 2. Outstanding salary is 1000 rupees. Outstanding means we have to pay. We should add plus outstanding in outer column 7000 rupees. Purchases, wages, carriage on purchases, office expenses. Office expenses are indirect. PNL account debit side. Two office expenses 400 rupees. Commission. In debit column, commission is given. Means commission paid. To commission paid. 600 rupees. You need not write paid word. Debtors, furniture, machinery, insurance. So we have taken insurance policy. To insurance company, we paid premium. So this is not related with manufacturing. Means indirect expenditure. p and account debit side. To insurance. Adjustment is given, therefore, amount in inner column. Adjustment number 3. Prepaid insurance 50 rupees. Prepaid means what? Before we paid. So, current year is 2018-19. Next year, 2019-20. So, 2019-20 related insurance 50 rupees also, we paid in current year only. So we are preparing this account to know the current year profit or loss. If you want to know current year profit or loss, only current year expenses, losses, current year incomes and gains we should take in these accounts. Next year amounts we have to exclude. Therefore, we should subtract prepaid insurance minus prepaid 50 rupees. In outer column remaining amount 350 rupees. Next, bank balance, bills receivable, cash. Debit column completed. Come to credit column. First, we have to bring gross profit. In trading account, our answer is gross profit now. 25,800 rupees. That amount, you have to bring on credit side of p &L account. By gross profit. Then, see the credit. Sales, creditors, capital, bills payable. So there is no other indirect income. Come to adjustments. Outstanding wages completed. Outstanding salaries completed. 
prepaid insurance completed create 5% reserve for bad debts on debtors so this is reserve for bad debts bad debt is separate reserve for bad debt is separate about reserve for bad debts provision for bad debts in fourth problem clearly explain so that fourth problem video link is available in the description box debtor value is 30000 no in trial balance debtor value is given as 30000 rupees in this 30000 for 5 percent there is a doubt so our organization policy is every year 5 percent reserve for bad and doubtful debt we provide on debtors because we are expecting that from debtors 5 percent amount may not come so this is expected loss as per conservatism or prudence convention expected losses we have to record in the books therefore this reserve for bad debts we have to record in current year we said we are expecting that money may not come bad debt means from debtors money is not going to come reserve for bad debt means money may come may not come chances are 50 50 so expected losses we have to show on debit side of profit and loss account because profit and loss account trading account these two are nominal accounts nominal account rule debit all expenses and losses credit all incomes and gains so this is expected loss that is what debit said we have to show to reserve for bad debts on data you have to calculate data amount is available in the trial balance 30000 rupees on that 5% is 1500 rupees next depreciation on furniture 150 and on machinery 500 so depreciation means when we use these fixed assets asset value decreased that is a loss it is known as depreciation this is indirect loss pnl account debit set and depreciation amounts are directly given in the question so we need not to calculate to depreciation on first asset furniture furniture depreciation is 150 rupees you can write in inner column or directly in outer column and on missionary 500 rupees you can write these two amounts in inner column and total 650 in outer column otherwise directly in outer column both are okay next closing stock 11,000 one time in trading account credit side we have written second time it goes in balance sheet not in profit and loss account profit and loss related all amounts we have taken Finally, we have to calculate net profit or net loss. Procedure is observe which side total is more, credit total is more. In rough notes, credit total minus debit total, all these amounts total. Then the difference is 15,200. Debit side total is less. Therefore, on debit side, you have to write this amount. And what is the meaning of this answer? Credit side we wrote incomes profits, debit side we wrote expenses losses. Expenditure total is less, income total is more, means this is profit. That profit is known as net profit to net profit. Two sides put the totals. Which amount? Highest value 25,800 rupees. With this, Profit and loss account is completed. So these two we have to prepare in one table. Next a separate table we should prepare for balance sheet. This is balance sheet. Balance sheet of Brindavan business as on 31st March 2019. Balance sheet is not an account. Therefore don't write DRC or symbols. Format is liabilities amount, assets amount. First debit column. Means here asset side salaries purchases wages carriage on purchases office expenses commission debtors debtor is an asset no asset side rbd adjustment is there therefore debtors amount in inner column adjustment number four create five percent reserve for bad debts on debtors so adjustment amount two times we should write now one time in pnl account debit side we wrote second time in balance sheet under asset side from debtors we have to subtract because this money may come may not come doubt 
So we cannot say that our data value is 30,000 rupees now because for 1500 rupees there is doubt. So that amount we have to deduct here. Reserve for bad debts. In p and we calculated 1500 rupees came. Remaining amount in outer column. 28,500 rupees. Furniture asset. Depreciation is there. Adjustment is there. Therefore, furniture value in inner column. 3000. Depreciation we have to subtract. Minus depreciation. Given in the adjustment. Depreciation on furniture 150 rupees. Remaining amount in outer column. Missionary 10,000. Missionary is also an asset. Adjustment is there, depreciation. Therefore, missionary value in inner column minus depreciation given in the adjustment directly 500 rupees. Adjustment number 5 depreciation on furniture 150 and on missionary 500 rupees. Remaining amount in outer column. Insurance completed. Bank balance. So, bank balance is asset. Cash at bank is asset. No. 4000 rupees bills receivables asset 2000 rupees cash asset cash means cash in hand cash balance in the firm this is asset 1100 rupees come to credit column of trial balance in trial balance credit column liabilities incomes gains provision reserve fund will be given only liabilities we should take here. Sales. Creditor. Creditor is a liability. 10,000 rupees. Capital. Bills payable. Bills payable is liability. 5,800 rupees. Trial balance amounts completed. Capital at the end we will show. Come to adjustments. Outstanding wages. One time in trading account to wages we added. Second time, this is a liability because we have to pay. Liability said you have to write this. Outstanding wages, 2000 rupees. Only adjustment amount we should write here. Outstanding salaries, same liability, 1000 rupees. Prepaid insurance. Next year we have to pay this insurance premium. Now only we pay. So insurance company became liable to us. From insurance company we have to receive benefit. This is an asset. Outstanding expenditure liability, prepaid expenditure asset. Adjustment amount 50 rupees. Then create 5% reserve for bad debts on debtors. Completed. Depreciation on furniture missionary completed. Closing stock asset side amount 11,000 rupees. Now come to capital adjustment. Liability side. Capital, trial balance, credit column, amount is 25,000 rupees in inner column. In profit and loss account, net profit came now, that amount we should add plus net profit, 15,200 rupees, total in outer column. So everything we have taken in balance sheet, finally we have to find out the totals of two sides. Liability side total is 59,000 rupees. Asset side total, same, 59,000 rupees. Thus, in balance sheet, two side total should be equal. Then only our problem is correct. So this is all about sixth problem from final accounts topic. Hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you.